Praise the Lord, precious saints, and welcome to another daily prophetic utterance to start your day. Well, this very day, I'd like to start off with a pr- prophetic declaration over your life. I declare that God is taking you to a new level in life. Your sadness will be replaced with happiness. Your struggles will turn into blessings. Your loss will be replaced with a miracle bigger than you can imagine. You will fully receive the peace of God that he has for you in Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. Let me continue with some declarations over your life today. We shall not be tired of running the heavenly race, according to 1 Corinthians 9.24. We shall not be tired of living a holy and righteous life, according to Romans 12 verse 1. We shall not be weary of bearing the burden of others, Galatians 6.2. We shall not be tired of praising and worshipping God always, according to Psalm 34, verse 1. We shall not be tired of standing in the gap for others and lost souls as we are praying also for ourselves, according to Ephesians 6, verse 18. We shall not be tired of proclaiming the good news that only Jesus Christ saves, according to Matthew 24, verse 14. We shall not be tired of condemning evil and sin because we know the Bible says that God, He is holy. We shall also stand for truth at all times, despite of all opposition. We shall seek to honor God's commands and obey him always, according to 2 Timothy 2.21. We shall love all men and we shall not hate, according to 1 Corinthians 13 verse 4. We shall read and study the Holy Scriptures daily, according to 2 Timothy 2 verse 15. We shall keep our lips from speaking evil according to Psalm 34 verse 13. We shall bless and not curse according to Deuteronomy 11:13. We shall not corrupt the anointing of God upon our lives according to Psalm 16 verse 10. We shall contend for our faith in Christ and not deny Christ in our adversaries according to Jude verses 3 to 4. We shall follow and grow spiritually and not become retired according to 2 Timothy 1.7. We shall not grieve the Holy Spirit with inside of ourselves according to Ephesians 4 verse 30. We shall declare the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living according to Psalm 27 verse 13. And as a soldier of Christ, I always put on my weapon of warfare so I can withstand the fiery darts of the devil. Ephesians 4 verse 30. I shall not crucify the Lord Jesus Christ a second time in thoughts, words or deeds according to Hebrews 6 verse 4 to 6. I shall endure to the very end by his grace so that we can reign with Jesus for eternity. Hallelujah. God has a special plan for your life today. May the Lord touch you. May the Lord fill you. May the Lord revive you. May the Lord refresh you today in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ. This is Pastor Robert Clancy. It is time to catch the fire of repentance revival as we prepare for the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. And if you'd like to subscribe to any of this these prayers or channel, you'll find many things and also you can share with your friends. Uh, feel free to do that. We bless you. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen and amen. Shalom, shalom, shalom.